Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about my capture of the Tulip Nebula Sharpless 2 101. My name's Rob and this is Seven Skies Astro. First of all, a massive thank you to my subscribers and you guys watching it. If you haven't, uh, if this is your first time watching my video, um, if you consider subscribing, that'd be great. Or I'll give it a thumbs up. And if you comment, that'd be fantastic too, because I really do enjoy reading your comments. Um, now, Sharpless 2 101 or the Tulip Nebula, um, it first comes to prominence when uh, Stuart Sharpless published this catalogue in 1959. Now this nebula is in Cygnus and it's approximately 6,000 light years away. Um, I captured it using my 120ED Skywatcher and my ZWO Azzy 533MC Pro. Now I also, um, the filters I used, I used the Optolong L Extreme um, which is the dual brand filter. Now that one I got three hours and 10 minutes or so. And then a the following night, or I think it was actually about three, three, uh, three days later, I got uh, two hours, 40 minutes using a sulfur two filter. Now I put them all together. So let's jump on the computer and I'll show you all done. Here I am in Pixon site. Now, these are the red, green, and blue what I captured. Now, you see the blue's not very good, all souls like that. Green is reasonably acceptable, and the red is, is pretty good, which I've named, renamed to HA. Now, the HA is, is the hydrogen, of course, but the green and the blue is not mostly the oxygen from the extreme. So what I've done is used pixel map and joined it together to give me the new O3, which is a combination of the green and blue. So that's what I'm going to use for the O3. Now what I've had to do is register them to my sulfur 2 that is the sulfur 2 what i captured that's the all from the one shot color with just the sulfur 2 filter on it and um, i've stacked them all together and obviously it was a color image so i've taken the luminance from it and using that as the sulfur channel if that makes sense to you now i've actually registered because the uh, images weren't aligned because it was a uh, uh, a couple of nights or even a week's difference I think it was I need to just check so I registered them to, and there you can see the HA and the O3 registered and you can see there's quite a bit of rotation there on them so that's what I've done and I've used channel combination and it's come up with this now um let's load that down there you go and you can see so uh, i renamed it to, to, to the shoe image so i can I know what i am and then i cropped it back as you can see that's background neutralization and then i've used shoe normalization which is giving me this image now you can see there's bits of colour in there and it's looking a little bit better. Next, I've used Blair Exterminator and you can see that really does um, drop down the stars there. It just, uh, I'm not sure if it's got a sharp to watch, but it's just limited. It is very limited data, but it does, does make a dif difference, I think. So that's very much on this one. Next, I'm going to go into this second page and I'll show you 
our finishing it off. And there's the uh, image I've cloned here. And just put it in there. Next, I will do Star Exterminator. Now, Star Exterminator just takes some time, so I'm going to clip on it and we'll unscreen the stars and I'll just let it go and I'll see it in a minute. So, Star Exterminator has done its stuff, and there we have the stars. Uh, everything's in front stretched at the minute, and there's I mean, it's left some artifacts there. I'm not quite sure why it's doing that. Uh, it never, funny enough, I, I, it never used to do that before the update, so it's a bit of a strange one. That anyway, so there we are. I think it, now it's hard to. stretch it let's just take the auto screens and that's made it a little bit better isn't it but i don't like this um there we go now it's a very uh i'd like to take a little bit of the the greenish color out with the modified screen it takes the green out but it takes a few seconds and there you go Has it made much of a difference? Let's see. Yeah, you can see that just maybe not so much on the it depends on the algorithm. Next up it's noise exterminator. I just leave it on default. It is quite noisy because it's only just short of six hours data. I leave the detail quite low. Um I'll just smooth it out a bit and I'll start stretching it a little bit then. But it might take it a, a few minutes, so I'll cut back to it when it's done. The Blair Exterminator, if you, see, you can see there, if I pop into that, how much of a massive job that's made to it. It just took a lot of uh, noise out. And it's, it feels like you've got 50 hours data instead of six. So it does help a lot, especially us a lot, when we don't get a lot of capture time next up it's the instagram i want to just get a preview um, um sh 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 sh. there we go shoe clone there we there, there's the uh the drop it down I, I like to drop it quite close to that and to just break up the mid just a little bit not too much No, I think that, that'll do enough for, for now. I'd like to go on the curves. Let's get on the curves for a green blue. Get a preview up. I'll just put a little tiny S curve in there just to help the little contrast a little bit. Doesn't have to be too much. If you click on the before and after pull. Is it not working on this? Oh, I think my computer's gone a little bit slow. I've got no. Let's take like that preview again. There you go, it's working now. And it just brings up that little contrast a little bit. So I'll just. Click on the square box and it's, it's done it again, but it's kept that same curve in. Now, I quite like the way it's, it's there because I'm going to adjust the contrast. So let's just reset that and do the saturation. Um, I just dragged it up a little bit. Not too much. Just a little bit. Oh, very very subtle that's through it again now you, you, I could make masks for the likes of this but actually quite quite uh, a bit lazy to be honest and I quite like just adjusting it I mean you, obviously you could you go right a long way like that and look all those blue and purple but I'm trying to keep it a little bit subtle so I'll give that one more 
Slatter. I'll close that. Now I don't think that's too bad. Let's check the um, Instagram again. And that's just gone off the back there. So let's just give that a little enhance again. Just a little tiny touch. Just enhance that gas. Because there is quite a lot of gas there. Let's re reset that. I don't want to do too much. I could darken a little bit more. Does that made it a little bit? That's a little bit better, yeah. Now I'll leave that. That'll do. So the, the the image is 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 coming quite nicely. I say yeah, I, I don't like the way these artifacts are being left, but I think that's pretty much it for that one. Now the stars, obviously that's unstretched. So let's just um just just check that again. Oh, see what happens with all these artifacts when you stretch them, like the when it's being noised. Done. It's amazing, isn't it? Shouldn't really do that. But what would happen if I'd done the, the, the stretch on links? Will it still be the same? It, oh, the artifacts from the pulling it out. So, what I'll do is. Uh, um, general hyperbolic stretch now I believe this, this is actually in a, a process I haven't put my process uh, there is this reset is this now I want to do an arc sign stretch and just bring them up a little bit I think that'll do for the first bit oh way too much loose left it then there's them artifacts let's just bring it up a little bit more To generalized hyperbolic stretch, and I think that's probably good enough. I don't want too many stars, it's just detract a little bit from it. So, there we go. We're stretched now to add them in again. Um, auto script utilities and this is the screen stars there so the starless view is shoe clone uh, I forgot the name uh, shoe clone stars yes and uh, shoe clone stars and there we go now I think that's uh, reasonable there's slight halos, but you do get them with the extremes. So, I think I'll go for that. As it looks quite reasonable for the six hours data. I'll close that down. Let me just uh, close these here. And uh, bring that up a little bit. Now, there is still residual green in there, as you see. But let's uh, see these little purplish here stars. So, by control and invert it, and you can see the little bits of green there. So, I'll just use the modified screen on it again and just uh, dumb them down a little bit. All these green little stars up, up here and around the purple fringe.
and it's just control i again and much better much better and i think that's a uh, pretty much all i'm going to do with that i can probably do with a little bit of sharpening so uh, there's a, sh a sharpening utility for the advanced sharpening and i just leave everything settings as it is and it uh, just press the sharpen it and it will take the masks and do it for you basically and there you go that's a little bit that's a just sharpen a little touch and enhance the contrast so that's it i'll leave that image on the, on the back of this video and um i'll catch you in the next one So there you have it, quite uh, reasonable all told, for little under six hours. Um, with the MC Pro, it doesn't capture the data uh, as much as the Mono because you're using a whole pixel uh, channel, whereas we have the bare metrics with the MC Pro. But overall, it's not too bad, and the likes of um, Blair Exterminator and Noise Exterminator do improve everything tremendously if you've only got a little bit of data the noise exterminator just smooths everything out so much but you do need the data um, but the situation here is we're not getting the, the, the best so it's 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 not too bad now that's it for this one um, if you haven't subscribed give it a like and a thumbs up and, and give that little sub subscription be fantastic but until the next one when the next one is going to be uh, my mead conversion from F10 to a Raza. So we'll see that. I'll see you in the next one and clear skies. Be well.